بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم رب زدني علما now there is one more thing we'll see like uh, previously we have seen how we can connect a windows machine to your local network whether connecting to your lan or maybe to two different lans you can connect like we have seen uh, connecting to 10 dot network here and we are connect, we have connected to 100 dot network here so likewise let's say you want also want to connect this server to the internet maybe you want to download some applications or softwares or maybe for management purposes i can use my local computer and i can use remote desktop directly to this i can also do that so what i'll be doing is you need to just add a add a network right click and add a network and any name you can give so select any symbol whatever the symbol you want uh, any symbol you can use it's up to you so i'm using cloud symbol and the type you have to select something called management cloud now basically when you select this management cloud it is going to connect this particular interface now let's say in my case what i'll do is i'll connect this pc to the cloud and on this side i'm going to use this management cloud means it's going to get an ip from this subnet now in my in my scenario in my in my network i'm using 192.168.15. subnet now this is the actual subnet which is uh, configured on my lan where i have a wireless router which is doing the dhcp job and it is providing the ip address to all my devices including my laptop my server and all the mobile devices everything they get the ip from this subnet so now what it is going to do is this server is going to connect to that because even this vm whatever the vmware or evng you are going to use it's going to get the ip from the same subnet whatever is used on your internet subnet so here you can see i'm using 192.168.15.31 that is the ip here so it's going to assign an ip for this interface from the same subnet now this is just like logically you are connecting this server to your physical network where i can get my server to get an ip and also it can be able to access the internet so that's that's an option you have to select and then i can simply uh, use this connection and connect it to my interface so if you remember i have three interfaces already added on the server i'm going to use the third interface which is being used again if you go back to the server now you have added one more one more device here if you go to the adapter properties on the server you can see the third interface the first two i have given a static ip if you remember 192.168.10. subnet here and for the second one which is also connecting to my uh, network production let's say the production network on the lan using 192.168.100. subnet but the third one i'm not going to assign any ip so it's going to get the ip automatically from the dhcp server which means if i go to the properties now again you can use just one interface if you want uh, but here i'm i'm showing you three different options means you can have multiple interfaces on the server for multiple different purposes so if i go back to this ethernet properties from where i can see the default option will be obtain the ip address automatically i'm not going to change that and if i go back to the status if i right click on the interface and verify the status of this interface i should see it it must be getting an ip from 192.168.15. subnet you can see it is 15.33 so which means from this server if i go back to my browser let's say here there is internet explorer the browser which i'll be using i can uh, access internet means anyway i'm connecting to internet on that network so if i go and type google.com to access the url of course internet explorer is something not recommended so you need to uh, quickly download any other uh, browser browsing software but first we'll try to confirm whether i'm able to open the page or not So 
I'll also say download. The PC performance is slow here, so we just need to wait. You can see I'm, I'm able to uh, get this. You can see the Google page. So from here, I can search for Mozilla Firefox for the PC and I can browse and download. So there are a couple of softwares which may require for you to install on the Windows Server machine. So probably you can go ahead and download the Firefox. Uh, maybe later on for the management, you, you might be using a Firefox or Google Chrome. You can just go ahead and download that one. Uh, similar way, you can also download some other softwares here. So let's first download this Mozilla and then install this one. So download the installer file and then so here I can see the downloads. So here you can see it's it's going to install the Firefox. Uh, likewise, we'll also uh, try to install another software, WinSCP. Now, this WinSCP is also required in some cases. So let's wait for this to finish up. And you can see it's still installing. Okay, so now the Mozilla is getting installed. So you know the process, how it's getting installed. So basically, now there's one more thing. What I can do is once we connect a specific machine, like in this case, I'm going to connect this server to my local network, which is using 192.168.15.subnet. And we have seen that it is, it is using the IP address of 15.33. So what I can do is I can go to my local machine. That is my local, uh, local uh, laptop which i'm using for this so i can go to the remote desktop connection because now it is connecting to my local network so i should be able to tell it means a remote desktop connection to that particular device so the device that is your windows server inside your evng i'm going to remember the password now, again, you don't need to really use, uh, once you connect that to the network, you don't need to use VNC player to open that particular desktop because once it connects to the, to the network, like in our case, uh, it's, it's getting open. So let's wait. Now, once we do this, now this is my server where EVNG is running. And this EVNG is running on 15.31. And inside this EVNG, there is a server which is running 15.33. And it is connecting to my local network. And it gets the IP from, from my local router, which I'm connecting. So I can go to my local PC or even, even if you are directly accessing the server, you can directly rem do remote desktop connection from here directly. So that's something I'll be doing probably anytime I want to access. So right now there are two remote desktop connections here. One is accessing my local server, the server where EVNG is installed, which is 15.31. And this 15.33 is the is your server, which is inside the EVNG, inside my topology, inside the SD-WAN lab. I can see here it, it was downloading the, it's actually downloading your Mozilla and also it is uh, going to download other options. So let me see if the Mozilla is finished. So if it is finished, I should see the desktop shortcut. Uh, 